Hello there, Chuck and friends. It is Megan Maria, your independent Chuck Couture designer. Hello and welcome. It's Workshop Wednesday. Woohoo! I always do this. Woohoo! It's a bad habit. I gotta stop doing that. Sorry. I sure. I'm sure those of you who watch me regularly kind of have this whole like laundry list of bad habits Maria has. <laughs> But today is Workshop Wednesday. Workshop Wednesday is a super, super fun night for me because it gives me the opportunity to know that you guys are out there creating with me. So how it works is I bundle together a project that I'm going to make and then I post it in the Making Maria VIP group. And then if you're interested in creating that project, you can purchase it. And then, ta-da, tonight is Workshop Wednesday and we're going to make the project together. So tonight, I'm trying to get your comments up because this is going to be an important night to have comments. There are a bunch of you out here that are making this project alongside me. So thank you, thank you for those of you who are going to have some fun with me tonight. We are going to create some really cool one-of-a-kind wooden earrings. Um, we're going to paint them and then we're going to put some chalk, chalking on them and we're going to have some fun with some pattern transfers. So if um, you are working alongside with me, um, I'm going to talk a minute about Chalk Couture and then we're going to talk about what you, we're going to get ready to go. So for those of you who are chalking along, welcome. I'm so excited. We're going to have so much fun and I cannot wait to see the earrings that you all make. Oh, because everybody has a couple different colors and, you know, everybody does puts a different spin on things. So we are going to use Chalk Couture tonight, which is an amazing, amazing product. And it is designed to be chalking the halls, walls, and accents accents and accessories of homes all across America. We were created to be designed, loved, and repeated for every season and any reason, and we bring easy, high-end DIY home decor directly to you. And we do that by offering reusable adhesive silkscreen transfers, chalkology paste, couture ink, surfaces you can create on, and accessories to make chalking super easy and super fun. Anybody can do this. If I can do it, Anybody can do it. It's really easy and it's a ton of fun. So tonight, if you, uh, this is your little bundle that you got. You're gonna open it up. So there's were a couple of things. I posted a, pic out, a picture out earlier today of the items that you were gonna wanna have around you when you were ready to create. And those kind of are standard with the exception of tonight I added pliers because we need to put our earrings together. Um, but for the most part, when you're going to create a project, you need a source of water, so a water bath or a sink. You need um, baby wipes or paper towels, something to kind of clean things up with. Um, a hair dryer helps, and in this case, because we're painting the earrings, you're going to need your hair dryer to dry the paint faster. You don't have to paint the earrings, but you can if you choose to. Otherwise, they'll just stay natural wood color. We're going to chalk over them anyway, so that's up to you. I did include paint and a brush so that you could paint them, but you don't have to. It's kind of totally up to you. So tonight, what you need, and really anytime you do a workshop Wednesday, is you need water, you need wipes or a paper towel, you need a dryer, a hair dryer, and that's pretty much it. Everything else should come in your kit. Um, you might need a towel, you know, a fuzzing towel, depending on what project is that we're making, but that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping, I see two of you are here already. We have one more lovely lady making earrings and I'm not sure she's here yet. So Carrie, if you're out there, make a comment please so I know you're here because I don't want to go ahead. Now, let's say you're really interested in the Workshop Wednesday project, but nine o'clock on Wednesday nights is not your time to create. <laughs> well, this replay stays out there, so you can really watch this at any time. So if you want to create the Workshop Wednesday, but you're not available on Wednesday, and I realize today's not Wednesday. I will get to that in a minute. But you can really do it anytime. So for example, I have one kit left that I had put together. So if somebody wants this, just let me know. Because after you see how awesome these are, you are gonna wanna make these. So let's open up your little bag. So in your little bag came everything you need to create the earrings. There's several different shapes of, these are thin, very lightweight. Oh, hey Carrie, okay, Carrie's here, okay, good. It's a very thin, lightweight wood. You got some craft paint, a foam brush. You've got some pattern backgrounds so that you can kind of zhuzh up um, whatever. Oh, and Amanda, that's where the extra one was. <laughs> Amanda got two of the wood grain. 
two of this one. So Amanda, that goes in this one. So Amanda's going to bring it to me on Tuesday. Um, so you got, you have five. There's only four here because you have the additional of the wood grain. Oh, hey, Lisa G. Lisa's here too. Okay. So everybody's here that's creating. Okay, awesome. So these are the patterns that you can play with. Now, do you have to use these? No. Any transfer will work. So what's kind of nice is some of the transfers have super fun elements that you just need like a little space with. Like the other day I saw a lady, she took um, like just kind of this part of the flower and she did it on an earring and it was super cool. So really, if you have any transfer, you can take a look at it and see, you know, what do you really want to create on it? So first thing you're going to do is we need to paint your earrings. Now you don't, again, you don't have to paint them. Um, I kind of like the natural wood color that's on them, but it's totally up to you. The other things that are in here, and this one doesn't have them. You have, oh no, it does. You have jump rings, which are my jump rings are stuck together. You have jump rings. That's to attach your backing for your earring. Which these guys are so cute. That's how we're going to attach this backing to the earring to the actual earring. And then you have these funky little plasticky backers. <laughs> you can tell I don't wear earrings. Um, this is this is a stopper to put on the back of your earring so it doesn't fall off when you're wearing it. Look at how cool that is. These are high-end quality. <laughs> they are stainless steel and all that good stuff I did buy. I did buy the good backers. Um, so that's what's in your little bag. So these little things you want to set aside because when we're all done and it's time to put our earrings together, you're going to need these. And they're little tiny, those little plasticky things, they roll all over. Let me tell you, I was chasing them around my basement. So you've got your wood. In this little bag you have, you should have a bunch of paste colors as options, again, to create with. I just put, you know, a variety of colors in. You have a mini squeegee, you've got some stir sticks, and then you've got the really fun little plates that I'll show you how you use these with your paste packets to get them. But our first step is painting. So these things we can put aside because we don't need them yet. First thing we need to do is we need to paint. And I was gonna bring a paper plate in here and I forgot to bring one. So I'm going to just grab a piece of paper. So if you have a paper plate or something, you could use your little plate. You could use, oh, I don't, dumb, or I think it's one of these. Um, you can just use your little plate if you want to open up your paint and just get some out. Cra this craft paint dries super fast. So you're gonna take your foam brush and you can just paint it. Now, see look how close in color that is. So it's not drastically different, but it just kind of give it, it, it makes it not look like wood. But I kind of like the wood look personally. So you're gonna paint it flip it over and just paint the other side right away. Okay, and then you're gonna use your hair dryer, you know, get your edges so that you have that finished off look. You're gonna paint the whole earring. Sorry if you're not with me here, but get your edges. Cause you're gonna wanna wear these. You're gonna wanna wear these loud and proud because you're gonna say, hey, I made these. And you're gonna go somewhere and somebody's gonna be like, oh, you got such cool earrings on. And you're gonna be able to say, ha. I made these because I am fancy. <laughs> okay, so we're just painting it, getting all the paint on. And now all you're going to do is you're going to take your hair dryer and you're going to dry it. And it's going to dry super fast. And then you're going to set it aside and you're going to keep going. Hey, Lori Baker, Baker Lori. Now you could do one side so you could set it down and then do the other side. That would work too. But again, craft paint dries super fast. So I'm just drying it. You could put it down on, well I could put it down on one of these and then I don't have to worry about getting paint all over. And you, it's very similar to chalk, you can see when it's dry. <clears throat> Mine is melting, my little container. So I'm not gonna put it back in there. But just like that, you're dry. See? So now your wood is all dry, your paint's all dry. So you're good to go. Ta-da! Done. So you're going to keep going if you want to paint them. If you don't want to paint them, 
you can stop. If you only want to make one pair now, because I know some of you had said that you were going to do that, um, you could just make one paint, one paint one now. It's totally up to you. So for those of you who are with me on the workshop, are you with me? How you doing? Got any questions? So I'm again, I'm just painting my wood and getting it ready for the chalk. You could totally leave it alone and you can paint them any color. For the most part, I think with all of you, you all got kind of this neutrally color just because that gave you more options then on what you were gonna put chalk wise over them. So I'm just getting my paint on. Yes, I am getting it all over my fingers, but I'm okay with that because it washes off. It's just paint, it's just acrylic paint. It's nothing fancy. And acrylic paint is very inexpensive. So you can get crazy with colors because, you know, especially if you buy them at Walmart. I think they're 50 cents at Walmart. Okay, again, I'm just gonna dry it. So while I'm drying it, I'm gonna stop here and say hello. Hey, Lori Baker, Baker Lori. Hello, Terry from Texas. Hello, Miss Carol Zimmerman from Illinois. We just booked some reservations. We're coming to Illinois. I think he booked them. I think he booked our hotel. I think he did. We talked about it, Terry. We're coming. So I'm just drying my wood. The paint, again, super fast. Doesn't take very long. So you should be all dry. Voila. So you set them down. So how's everybody doing this crafting with me? Are you with me? I'm just washing my fingers off. So these earrings are very popular in the chalking world. Lots and lots and lots of people have, are doing workshops and making them. So they, they're, because they're so light, they're very easy to uh, wear. And they're not, you know. Okay, where's my ear? <laughs> I really kind of like these like little guys. There's just something, you know, they're just sweet. There's not a ton to them. So you're not, you know, it's not like you're gonna have this whole big chalking masterpiece on your ear. It's just gonna be a little something. I don't know why I washed my fingers off. I was gonna continue to paint. So again, just get all your edges with your paint and then dry them as you go. Drop it. If you get it, the paint does wash off. It's just plain old everyday acrylic paint, so. Um, we're just making some earrings. So how was everybody's day while well, we're, we're going? I am curious about my, my workshop Wednesday people. Are you still with me? You're, you're being so quietly crafting that I'm assuming that you're on pace with me. Let's just get all your edges. The other nice thing about you can chalk both sides. So you want to do uh, like you could totally make these reversible where you did one color for one day you know one design and another design the other day the possibilities are totally endless for creativity here so again I'm just drying my paint so that I can chalk on them and really they're so similar in color Amanda is here and painting. Okay, good job, man. Amanda, man. All right, so I cannot wait to see what you guys make. Lisa says, I have to keep running to the other room to dry. <laughs> Lisa, bring your hair dryer in the room and then you don't have to run around. That's funny that your hair dryer is in another room. It does dry super fast, so once you get your first pair painted, paint the other pair and just set them down. Because by the time you chalk on the first pair, they'll be they'll be um, they'll be dry. That's one of the nice things about using this kind of paint is it does dry super fast. Because we're not putting it on super thick either. Um, you know, you're just doing a light coat because you're going to chalk over it. So, you know, don't be worried about it being pristinely perfect because you're gonna chalk over it. The one thing I would say is the edges, you know, because that obviously we're not gonna chalk on the edges. So you wanna make sure your edges are covered as I'm taking all the paint off my edges with my fingers. Okay. So I'm 
just gonna dry it again. That's how, once we have the paint done. Oh, your daughter's sleeping and it's already too loud. Oh, I'm sorry. So Lisa, just paint them. Paint your first pair and paint them all and set them down. It dries super fast. You know, I mean, look, if, look at how fast it dries with the hair dryer. It doesn't take that much longer without it. Okay, so Lisa, just paint them and set them. In fact, I'll try that with this pair. I'm not going to dry this pair. And let's see how fast it, you know. I love these ones. I think these guys are super cute. Because I can see these pretty much on anybody. Like, I, I, if I wore earrings, I could get away with this. It's not too dangly. I could, I just painted my ear. <laughs> I could totally get away with this, right? I haven't worn earrings in 20 years. Easy, an easy 20 years. In fact, for my monumental birthday, we'll just leave it at that. My husband wanted to buy me diamond earrings, to which I laughed out loud. I'm like, that's a great thought, honey. Totally awesome thought. But you've never seen me wear earrings. <laughs> It was kind of funny. In fact, he in the end, he, did, he bought them and he returned them. Because he bought them and then he made the comment to me and I'm like, yeah, no, not so much. I'm mean, guessing maybe even the ears, the holes in my ears are, dry, are closed up. <laughs> they're not, but they're closed. Okay, I'm really getting paint everywhere. All right. So this pair we're not going to do with the dryer. I'm just going to set them. Hey, Lori Shavlik. We are having workshop Wednesday, Lori. We are making earrings tonight. Yeah, just stop drying, Lisa. Just put the paint on them and set them aside. It'll 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 work. So you don't have to go super thick. You can go uh, really light. Carrie, how you doing? Tom is watching me and says I look like I'm panicking. Amanda. This is no stress crafting. There is no panicking. No, you cannot screw this up. The only reason you're panicking is I'm probably going too fast. So I'm gonna slow down a little. You're just gonna put your paint on and you're gonna set them aside. That's all you gotta do. This is pretty adventurous for a workshop Wednesday because this, you know, we gotta paint too. We're not just chalking. This guy's all painted, got all my edges, and I'm just going to set them aside. And by the time we get to him, we'll, we'll chalk him last. He'll be dry. This is a super cute shape. I'm kind of in love with this shape. Hi, Tom. Tom, you are the most adorable husband in the whole wide world, I have to say. Okay, so I'm just washing the paint off of my fingers because I'm OCD about that. As you all know me. Oh, Carrie was really excited about these, so I already painted them last week. <laughs> You, there's a video we we did make these once already you're gonna probably just watch that and made them oh that's so funny so Carrie's are already painted all right so we're done painting so we set everything aside I mean this is gonna go really fast now you're gonna be surprised so I want to show you and for anybody actually who has paste packets I don't usually show paste packets and how to use them because I use my my paste jars but I do want to show you how to use a paste packet um, because many of you use them and um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to knead it before you ever open it up okay it's like a ketchup packet right you're just going to this is your and effectively you're stirring it and you can tell as you touch your paste packet how wet is it you know like this guy he is really he, this guy's not going to need any water same with this guy but you can tell, like this guy's a little, it's white, which is always more dry. So you gotta do a little more kneading and get them working. But you may need to add a small amount of water, okay? So you knead them up, and I'm not gonna use white because that'd be really tonal. I was gonna use Cadet. Where did I put it? I think this would be, this is a really pretty blue color. Some of you have Regal. Some of you have different, you guys have different colors. I can't remember what all colors you guys have. 
I know regal for sure, because I think Amanda, you have regal. You you have gray, you have black, white, and I think you have regal. Or you have another color. So if, for those of you who came here to pick them up, you got to pick the color. Okay, so I'm just kneading it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my packet, and there's a little, you know, like a little cut line. You can pull it, I'm just gonna cut it, just for simplicity's sake, because I don't want to make a big, I don't wanna open the whole top, because these little bad boys have a lot of paste in them. You'd be amazed at how much paint is, paste is actually in these. So you're not gonna empty the whole thing out onto your little tray. You're just gonna put a little bit, okay? Just gonna put a little bit out. Because you can always add more, but you can't put back in here. It's really hard to get them back in here. So set your paste aside. So I just have a little tiny, tiny bit. Now if it was looking dry, which this one's not, that's what you have the stir sticks for, you could add a little water and stir it up. My guy's in good shape. So you don't need to do that. Check your paste. If, you, if it's looking really dry, stir it up and add a little bit of water. But your hardest decision at this point is which pattern do you wanna put on which earring? So you have these fun little stars, the beautiful flowers, which are my one of my favorites, some really fun polka dots, you have a fun wood grain, which would actually be fun if we didn't paint them. This would be a fun like, kind of line thing to do. And then you have a little hound's tooth. Um, I'm not gonna use these little ones because it's part of a packet and I have big ones, so. But these transfers are part of the pattern blocks. So the four, it actually comes with four. You don't get polka dots though. You get the little dots. So it comes with the daisies, the stars, the wood grain, and then there's a big one that has these little tiny polka dots on it. These are the pattern blocks transfer. It's a D size transfer and this is the normal size of them. You guys got little cut up pieces. And then there's the hound's tooth transfer, which is super fun. Super fun. We're gonna do a lot of fun things with that one. Cause that's a very fun background one. So on these bad boys, I'm gonna do the daisies because they're my favorite. So you guys can do whatever you want. Amanda, I was so proud of you. Amanda sent me a picture earlier. She had all of her transfers laid out with the name of the transfer written on the back. And it was very cute. I, and she said, aren't you proud of me? And I am very proud of you. So take your transfers, write the name on the back of them, and then carefully remove your backer sheet. Now my backer sheet's way bigger. This is why I cut them up for you guys because you don't need it, this big, huge thing. But one of the things you wanna pay attention to is you can place this anywhere you want on your earring. So you could do it where maybe you just have one daisy kinda at the bottom or kinda off to the side. So you would, this is where really creativity can go absolutely crazy. Because how you place it on here is what it's gonna look like. You could fill the whole thing with daisies. You could fill the whole thing with dots. You could just do it off to the side so you have half solid, half design. You can totally get funky and fun with these. So on this bad boy here, I think I'm gonna try the whole, should we try doing just part of him? I do love the daisies though. So as, so I'm gonna zoom you in, hang on. me over. So see how based on where I place the transfer I can see what's my design gonna look like. Do I want little daisies? Do I want big daisies? And just kind of place it how you want it. I kind of like the big guy. But I kind of like hmm. possibilities are endless. See this is where you can go crazy doing this. All right, so I think I'm gonna do this guy here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do these three at the bottom and, and let's see how that looks. So you put your transfer down, 
push it down just like normal. You're gonna take your small squeegee, dip it right in your chalk paste. Okay, load up your squeegee. Again, look at how the little tiny amount that you need. You don't need very much. And I'm just gonna go carefully around my earring. Now, if I was worried about getting it someplace I would, didn't want it, I could put painter's tape down, but I'm not too worried. Okay, so you just put it down, squeegee it off, put your excess right back on your little plate, just like you would if you had a big jar, and now pull your transfer off. And voila. Oops, <laughs> I don't need to put it up that high. You guys are right there. So this is our super cute little Daisy die. Okay, this is sweet. I like it kind of just on the bottom. So this is number one. And you can put it right back down if you want, depending on how much you want them to match. And do it the same exact way. Because you again, you can see obviously where you used the paste. Just lay it back down. Again, dip it in. And go through your silk screen. Push it through. Take your excess, put it right back on your little plate. Now as my, no, sorry, you're, you're zoomed in. As my little plate is sitting here, my paste is drying. So what I can do, if I notice I still want to use it and it's drying, I can add water and stir it up if I need to, just like you would if it was a paste jar. Okay. So voila. Oops. I need to unzoom you because I'm not used to you guys being this close to me. <laughs> so here's our super cute first pair of earrings. I take my transfer, I stick it in my water bath next to me. If you have, if you are not near a sink or you don't have a water bath next to you, set it aside. You can put it right back on its backer sheet with the chalk on it, or you can set it down on the table next to you, sticky side up. And then when we're all done, you can wash them. Don't worry about washing the chalk off or getting it in water right away. It doesn't matter. The chalk can sit on your transfer. It will come off. So don't worry about, you know, I got to wash these right away. So these are our super cute first pair. Okay, again, I got I have to unzoom you. <laughs> you guys are just zoomed in way a little too much. There, we'll go out a little bit more. Okay, so here's pair number one. They're super fun. This is Cadet. And, um... Cadet. It's Cadet. I don't know where I'm going with that. Alright, so we got these guys next. These guys, we could put our fun little stars on. I really kind of want to do houndstooth. Let's do, let's do houndstooth on these ones. Is everybody still with me? Anybody got any questions? Actually, I don't want to do that. I don't want to use this guy. So again, I'm going to use my big one um, just because I have a big one. So how is everybody doing? Uh, you got your first pair done. You still working on it. You got a question. So for those of you who are just joining me, I'm making Maria. I'm an independent chalk couture designer and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. I know it's not Wednesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday, but I was kind of dumb. That's not, I was forgetful and I double booked. I have a me and th three and me party tomorrow night, which has actually turned into a me and six party. Um, and I double booked this, so I apologize. So thank you to all of you who are creating with us that were so gracious and allowed me to move this to Tuesday. So Workshop Wednesday is really t Tuesday this week. But the next Workshop Wednesday we're doing is the splash technique, which um, oops, I need to write on the back of my transfer the name so I get it back on the right backer sheet. I had to take mine off. What do you mean, Amanda? What did you have to take off? You had to take your chalk off? How come? Which transfer did you use? And why did you have to take it off? I need more details, Amanda. All right, so I'm just gonna pull my transfer off my backer sheet. This is the very pretty new hound's tooth transfer. And I'm gonna, I am, we're gonna try doing both of these at the same time. What the heck, right? Go big or go home. So I'm going to put my design over them, okay? 
You can chalk on both sides of these. These guys, you had to wash it off. How come? Oh, you did the floral? I need more details. Just because you didn't like the way it turned out? Okay, so these guys I have all pushed down. I'm going to use Storm. My paint wasn't fully dry and it bled all over. Not cute. Oh. Your, your craft paint wasn't dry? That's interesting that it bled. Hmm. So when you washed them off, did it wash the paint off too? So you have to start all over? Okay, so I'm opening up my storm. Pay no attention to my big ugly storm container. This is an old, we used to be able to buy them in big uh, bulk size. You can't do that anymore. And I just got chalk on my earring. <laughs> Did not want to do. Don't do this. And of course now it's not going to want to come off. So I'm going to just wash it off. And hope it comes off. If it doesn't come off, I'm just going to put, it did. I could repaint the top of the earring too. So this is one of those old, you know, don't do things over your project. Yes, it's okay. I'm moving on to the next part. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing. So wash your squeegee off unless you're going to use the same color. Pick your transfer out. Um, get your paste ready. You can use the same color or a different color. And just chalk away. So I'm just going right over, getting all my excess off, putting it back here. Oops, I didn't get my top. Okay. And now, because they're so little, they stick. <laughs> Sometimes it's not always so easy to get them off. Ooh, these are cool. All right, those are fun. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna set my, ooh, this transfer is super sticky. So I'm actually gonna not put it in my water bath with my other transfer, I'm just gonna stick it behind me. Ooh, look at these guys. Well, I'm gonna dry them. So that's where, you know, if you're, you wanna make sure your chalk is dry before you do too much handling. Because again, these are, they're little tiny things to chalk. So now we have this fun pair. Okay, these guys are cool. I could totally wear these. I might, I might have to change my whole, I don't wear earrings. And two, it's nice because the design is reversed on each one. These are, so, oh, Carrie's, I, oh, I can't wait to see yours, Carrie. Okay, Carrie, which ones did you make? Sorry, it made me not flash. <laughs> TMI, I know, but oh my gosh, I'm suddenly very warm. <laughs> All right, so now we have these fun little guys. Oh, Carrie, which ones did you make? Lisa, how are you doing? I gotta tell you, I love Workshop Wednesday. I just love the fact that I know you guys are creating with me. It's just so much fun. So now we got these guys left. So how is everybody doing? So the next pair, these little stars are super cute. But I kind of like the little polka dots, too. You guys got little stars, right? Yeah, you guys got little stars. I know, Terry. Um, yes, I know it's, it's shocking that I am hot. <clears throat> uh, this is what happens to those of you who are younger than us. Whew. The squiggle-shaped earrings with the hound's tooth. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, Terry, I've recently... <clears throat> learned how to be hot, very hot, like boiling on the inside out. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me um, or are new to us, I'm always cold. Like my bathrobe is wrapped around me. Um, I have to take it off to hit the live button because I am, I wear my bathrobe over my clothes in my house all day long. It's been a long standing joke with my friends. You know you're my friend when you come to my house and I leave my bathrobe on when you come in. <laughs> Because literally, it's like this huge thing. The doorbell rings and the bathroom comes flying off. <laughs> My kids think it's hysterical. 
But if I know it's you, I leave my bathroom on. So any of you could come over and I would leave my bathroom on. One of these days, I'm gonna talk with my bathroom on. But I have to take it off when I hit the live button. All right, so on these guys, we are gonna do some super fun stars. Hey, Kathy K. These guys I think I am gonna do individually. The stars can be, eh, maybe we're not gonna do the stars. The stars are hard because it's really just gonna be a line of stars, unless we just did the bottom. But you kinda gotta play with how you would place them because they're not really, I don't think, these, there's not enough surface on these guys, I think, to do the little stars. We could do the, the uh, um, ooh, Lisa, which ones did you do? We could do the wood grain, that would be kinda cool. Let's do the wood grain, let's see how that one would work. I love the houndstooth, the houndstooth is my new fave. Ooh, this is kind of fun, cause you, I mean, you're not gonna know it's wood grain. You can totally just get some squiggles. Up, okay, let's do this. So, all right, I'm gonna zoom you in again, so you can see. But like, you know, you can tot. Oops, you know, moved over far enough. You can totally just get some lines on them. Um, so you're not gonna know it's wood grain. On this guy, should we do black? What color? So you guys have black, white, storm, and a color. We did a color one already. Let's do black. So wipe off your squeegee and just, it's too much paste. This guy's really easy to do because he's just a little line. I did yellow flowers and houndstooth in black. Ooh, I bet the houndstooth in black would be cool. Aren't these fun? They're so addictive though. Once you start, you like want to make all kinds of earrings. A bunch of people are making them and selling. Ooh, look at this. Okay, that's kind of jazzy. Ooh, I don't have to hold it up. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Okay, so, oh, I can't do that because it's. Okay, I got to think about, oh, don't do that because that has chalk on it. They go, on, oh, what if I. Flip it over. Are they the same if I flip it over? They should be. Why aren't they the same? They are the same. What am I doing wrong? There we go. Sometimes lining things up is not my strong suit. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. Ooh, except this guy is wet and I'm sticking my transfer on him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not used to you guys being zoomed. Same thing, just go straight across. I gotta zoom you out some because I'm not doing a good job, I apologize. You can't see everything. All right. Ooh. So they're not exactly the same in the way the design goes, but that's okay, they're still cool. Chalk, chalk all over. So wash them off. Wash your squeegee off while it's wet. Much easier to clean your squeegee. Keep your squeegees, obviously, because um, now you have a mini squeegee. So now for your next projects, you have one already. So it's super easy for you to. Now, paste packets. What can you do? You can attempt to get your little bit of paste back inside your packet. It's just a little bit of paste because you have plenty of paste left over. Um, okay, So you have plenty of paste left over. You can try to take your little thing and scoop it back in. I've never tried it, so let's try. I don't know if my hole's big enough for me to get it back in here. Probably not. No, it's not, but we'll try. I'm just gonna make a mess. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so push your paste down in your paste packet, you know, push it, push it down towards the bottom. And then you're gonna fold it over. It would help if I didn't paste on my fingers. You're gonna fold it over. Okay. You take your paste packet, you're gonna fold it up. And you can stick a paper clip, a binder clip, 
something to clip it and then stick it in a Ziploc baggie and this paste will keep so that you can continue to use it. So these fun little earrings we now need to put together to, to actually make them earrings. Lisa, did you get your, is your third pair dry? Because we, mine was, and I didn't use the hair dryer. Okay, so then you just, you put, stick a little paper clip on them. I think I have a paper clip in here, I do. So you get a little paper clip on it, stick it in a baggie, and then you can keep your paste. And they will keep, and they're gonna keep forever, but they'll keep for a while. These bad boys, you can just wash them off and reuse them. You don't have to throw them away. Because again, they're a very nice little tool for the paste packets to kind of keep them. Um, Virginia is back from her cruise. Hello, Virg. Welcome, welcome. We hope you had a good time on that uh, cruise ship. Now that you're back with us, she says she'd have to start an hour ago. <laughs> Virginia. You are an, a seasoned chalker, Verge. Oh good, I'm glad Lisa your paint was dry. Okay, so I'm just I'm just cleaning up so you making sure you guys are all caught up. It's time to put our earrings together. So now you need your pliers and you need that little baggie of all the goodies that are earring based. I'm gonna zoom you out. Cause I don't think well, maybe I should leave you zoomed in a little. So, in your little baggie, you have jump rings. Okay. So you have jump rings and a backer. Okay. You need your pliers to open up your junk ring. Junk ring. That's what these fancy things are called. So you're gonna take it and just pry it apart so that you have, get it so it focuses in, so you have an opening, okay? So you get your opening, you stick it in the hole so it dangles. You take your earring backer, oops, put it on your jump ring, and close it up. That's how hard this is. And then I just give it a pinch. And voila, you have an earring. Now, what I've learned about these backers is they're sideways, so don't they don't hang right. So what you do is you twist it. You twist the backer so that the pokey part for the ear the pokey part for the ear is to the back. Okay, so you just have to, if it's not lined up so it doesn't hang right on your ear, you just twist it. So now, if I were to wear them, it would hang right. But I just twisted it to get it like, or, I'm sorry, I just twisted it so that it hangs sideways. When you first put them on, it hangs the wrong way. So you just have to twist it. And then you've got them. I wish I could put them in my ears, I'd show you. And then, ooh, look at these. If I wore these, Mr. Brarman would not know what to do with himself. <laughs> all right, so that's all you do to put them together. You take your jump ring, you take your pliers, you open up your jump ring, open it up, Stick it through the hole. The last pair I tried to make, I didn't use the pliers. This is much easier with the pliers. Stick your little backer in. Okay, close it up. Pinch it. And you got a pair of earrings. Super cute earrings. One of a kind earrings. Earrings you've made that no one else owns. And you can make it match your outfit. How cool is that? And then just twist it so that it hangs right. And we, voila, have the most adorable pair of earrings. Oh, and then these little plastic guys, these little itty bitty clear things, 
they go on the back once they're in your ear. I guess so, they don't fall off. I don't know, I'm thinking that's what that's for. So they just, they just slide on the back of the earring. Voila! This is so much fun, these are my fave. Just because I'm in love with the daisies. I'm totally, totally in love with the daisies. So this is Workshop Wednesday. I hope you guys are having fun and that your earrings are turning out. The next Workshop Wednesday is the Splash Technique, which I need to zoom you out because you're way zoomed in for this. Workshop Wednesday is where you guys create along with me. I bundle everything together that I'm making and I send it to you. So in the next one, we're doing some very fun watercolory backgrounds. I'm going to show you how to make the background and then we're going to chalk over them and you get all the supplies that you need plus an A size transfer so that you have a transfer to create with. So you get the frame, you get the markers, you get the Ziploc bag, you get everything you need to create the, zip, the splash and then we're going to chalk over them. That workshop Wednesday is on the 4th of March. My sticky transfer, don't put stuff on top of it. <laughs> um, so that's the next one. All right. So my fellow crafter ladies, how are you doing? Open up your jump ring. Stick it through your earring. Fun, fun, fun. Weather perfect. Some rough weather. So rock to sleep much nights, family. All had button picture or sister Mary. Oh, that's so cool, Verge. So for those of you who don't know, Virginia just went on a cruise with... Virginia is one of a million kids. It's a slight exaggeration. There's not really a million of them, but there's a lot of them. And Virginia's sister recently passed, one of her sisters recently passed away, so she got to go on the cruise too. That's really cool, Verge. I'm sure Mary appreciated being thought of. Okay. This is, I mean, this is really easy. Twist them to get them to lay. Just twist your backer so that it hangs right. Once it's in your pretty little ear. Look at how cute these are. Oh, look, they match my sweater. <laughs> Truly, I don't know what my husband would do if I, if I came upstairs with earrings on. <laughs> it might be worth it just for the entertainment value to do it. <laughs> okay. Having a hard time with the rings. Okay, Lisa. Having a hard time opening them or getting them on. So you just, you know, pull them apart, stick it in, put your backer on, or your earring part, and then close them up. You don't even need the pliers to do it. You just need the pliers to pinch it. Just don't pinch super hard because then you, uh, you lose the circle, which is okay. Like on this one, I just, but you can, you can totally manipulate them to get them where you want them. And then twist your backer so it hangs right. So, take your ring where it's got the, the hole or the, it's not connected, bend them apart, so twist it, stick it through the hole of the earring, take your backer, having a hard time closing them, okay. so. Try doing it without the pliers and just twist it back and then just gently pinch. You don't have to pinch it hard because if you pinch it hard then you squeeze it too hard and then it like, it's not a circle anymore. And then twist your backer so that it, these are really cool too. These are kind of sexy. This is so much fun. <laughs> It's almost like you guys are here. That's probably the fun part about it. Only it's a one-sided conversation. That's always the bad part about it. So, take your jump ring, twist it, stick it in, put your backer on, and then once it's twisted, you twist it back together. I mean, you could pinch them with your finger too. You don't have to use the pliers. The key is just closing the gap. You have to close the gap because otherwise what happens is the it, it comes off because your hole isn't. Oh, she got it. Okay, good. Yeah, 
I gotta do it again. That's the hard part. You just gotta make sure it's they're put together enough, otherwise they fall the back, you know, as the ring moves, your earring part comes off. You know, like at all jewelry. We've all had that necklace that was a pain in the butt because the jump ring kept separating, right? Squeeze it. Put it together. And then twist your backer so that they hang right. Can you share where you got the earrings from? I think I might need to make more. <laughs> Carrie, that is so funny. So Carrie, I buy them on Amazon. I'm happy to share with you where I got them from. I buy them from Amazon. Um, these are the least expensive part of your kit. What's expensive about your kit is all the transfers that you got sent. Um, but they come in, they came in like a bag of 50. No wait, 12. They came in 12. Must have been 12. Yeah. It's the, then I bought the sterling silver earring backs. Um, and they came in a, you got a hundred of them. So I have a million of them. Um, and then the jump rings I had, so I didn't buy those. But you can buy jump rings. I would go to uh, Joann's or, I would go to one of those big box stores to look for, in the jewelry section, to look for jump rings. The key with your jump ring is it has to be big enough. You can't buy a tiny one because it's got to be wide enough to handle the width of the wood and then the, the, the earring thing. So I would take these ones because I know this size works. I did buy smaller ones and they didn't work the first time I because I, I knew I wasn't going to have enough of these. I bought some to try to replace them and I had to take them back. They didn't work. So the ones I had, which are from stained glass, so I don't even know. I used them all, so now I need now I need to go in search of more jump rings. But jump rings are not expensive; you can get them anywhere. Um, but these guys came in a, and they're you know based on I tried to buy a good quality stainless steel one because I you know you never know who has an allergy to nickel or whatever. So there's all kinds of different varieties of earring backers you can buy. Um, but the, these parts here, this was the inexpensive part. And there's several different shapes. You just need them to be big enough so that you can actually chalk on them, so that you can see something. But the possibilities are completely endless to use different pieces of different transfers you have. I mean, they're, and they're so lightweight. And I mean, you could, you could make the same pair in five million colors just so you could match all your outfits. You know, there's just lots of variety. Okay, so Miss Amanda, we haven't heard from you. How are your earrings turning out? Are you good? And so you guys got to post pictures too. This is, once you join the club, or once, not the club, because that's a totally different thing. Once you join the workshop, you got to share pictures. We all want to see your, uh, your beautifulness. So, hey, Amanda, how are you doing? You got them figured out? So while we're waiting for Amanda, um, Club Couture, we're reaching the end and we're so close. Oh my gosh, we are so close to 10 new club members this month. Um, I think we're three people away. So if you're gonna join, this is the month to do it because all that super cool stuff is going on in the Making Maria VIP group um, to help you get off the fence about the club this month. Um, because March 5th, the new transfer is gonna ship out. So you gotta, if you join now, you're actually joining for March. So on March 5th, you'll get the new transfer, which we don't know what it's gonna look like. Um, it's gonna be so much fun. It's always so much fun. Amanda says they are not turning out. I'm gonna have to wait for our craft night. Don't ask what I'm doing wrong because I don't know. Oh my goodness, Amanda. Um, do you want me to come over tomorrow, Amanda, and I can take a look at them? I don't know why they're not turning out either. We don't want you to be frustrated though. This is stress-free crafting. This is easy crafting. No stress, lots of fun. It's supposed to be. So let me know, Amanda. I can I can run out tomorrow and, sh and take a look at them with you. Um, so yeah, Club Couture. If you're not a member, what is it? Club Couture is a monthly subscription service, $19.99 a month with free shipping. So it's all it costs you is $19.99 a month. You get three paste packets different colors that go with your transfer every month you get three paste packets and a b size transfer what do i got right here 
So this is an example of a B size transfer. They're eight and a half by 11. And it's like magic. Every month you get your transfer and three paste packets in the mail for $19.99 a month. It's shipped to you. Um, we're doing a bunch of fun things this month to uh, get people off the fence. Um, okay, so Amanda says, it's okay. They're just bleeding all over the place. I'm either not putting the transfer down hard enough or not or using too much chalk. Is your chalk super watery, Amanda? It's okay. I'll see you 3-7 and we can do them then. Oh, you got your home transfer today, Virginia. Awesome. So the home transfer Virginia is talking about was the Club Couture transfer last month, which is super, super popular. Um, this is one of the things we made with it where it says it's the home with the wreath and it says welcome to our home. This is just one example of what we did with it. And ladies, now that you have transfer background transfers, you can make backgrounds like this. This is the old houndstooth background. Um, but this was last month's club couture. It was this? It says welcome to our home, and you can do it in all kinds of fun colors. We made all kinds of fun things. We have one more project that we're going to make probably tomorrow night. We'll do one more with the home transfer, um, just to give you ideas of different things that you can do with the club couture transfer. But if you're joining, now is the time because we're running out of days. Where should you post a picture, Lisa? You can post a picture in. Um, you can post it right here. Or you can post it in the VIP group, whichever, doesn't matter. If you post it here, I'll share it to the VIP group. Um, if you post it in the VIP group because that's a closed group, we can't share it anywhere. So that's up to you. Wherever you feel more comfortable posting it, post. Um, but yeah, we've got to see pictures of all your earrings. Um, Amanda, try painting your earrings and just letting them sit. And then maybe tomorrow, try. But yeah, you do have to stick your, your uh, transfer down so that you don't get bleeding. Um, if you're using the black, the black tends to be super runny. So if it seems really watery, put it on your little dish and let it sit in the air so it gets a little thicker and try that. Sometimes that happens with black. So I don't know what color you were trying to use. Um, but that is a common issue with black, that it it's, tends to be more watery so that it... Um, it just needs to sit in the air a little bit and dry up a little bit if you're, if that's, if you're using black. I don't know if you're using black. Um, but I'm more than happy to help you try to figure it out because we ne you need super cute earrings because you have like the perfect hair and everything for cute earrings. So we got, we got to see cute earrings. <sighs> I'm rambling. I'm making Maria. I'm your independent chalk couture designer. If you are not in the VIP group, which we've talked about a few times here, you can come and add me or you can just go in your search bar and type in making Maria VIP group and request to join and we'll get you in there and then you can see all the fun things going on in there right now. Currently, there's a paste special going on in there for the new spring colors that came out. So there's that special. There's two Club Couture specials that are in there that I'm offering and then there's one that the company is offering that I can tell you about out here, which is all club members for the month get 20% off all paste colors. So that's part of the benefit of being a member of the club is you get some exclusive um, sales and stuff like that that uh, only club members get. So if you're not in the VIP group, let me know. If you are interested about Club Couture, I'd be happy to send you the link. You can check it out, see if it's something that you would be interested in. You can comment club or message me and I'd be happy to send that to you as well. Or you can go to www.chalkcouture.com slash making Maria and there's a Club Couture tab on the top. You can see it right there. Last but not least, I have way too much fun doing this with all of you every single night. <laughs> you don't have to do it that way. Being an independent chalk couture designer, there are so many different ways that you can use this to have fun with people. Um, you can host workshops. You can teach classes. You can do in-home classes. You can do in-home parties. You can simply make things and sell them. There's all kinds of ways that you can take being a chalk couture designer and um, have fun with it. So if you're curious at all about what that all means, feel free to message me again and I'd be happy to share with you. And you can check it out, see if it's something you'd wanna do. Oh, that's it, the end of my commercials. This was so much fun. I hope you guys had fun. Amanda, we were gonna figure out your earrings. Thank you, Lisa, for posting your picture. Carrie, post your picture too so we could see your earrings because we can't wait. And uh, thank you guys, this was fun. Next workshop Wednesday is in two weeks. It's the splash background. 
And then the one after that will again be two weeks later, and we're doing the board and pillar stand, um, which is a very cool surface to use, and we'll just it's an A-size transfer. So I, will, I have to make that and post that out there. But basically, we're doing this every two weeks is kind of the moral to the story. I'm rambling. I'm hanging up now. Thank you so much. Message me if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, have a super fantastic Wednesday. Thanks, guys.